keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Will. Ain't that a bitch? He got a new movie out. Does he? Yeah. An- another one. How many people convicted of assault do you go watch their movies? What do you mean convicted of assault? Well, obviously, I saw him on TV. I'm convicting him of fucking assault. <laughs> I watched him do it. I, you know what? Listen, I, I, listen. I, don't, I don't wear a bit. I don't wear a robe like fucking Uncle Phil. But I, he is convicted. Then he wants to play a runaway. He wants to play a fucking slave. Objection. The eyewitness testimony. Testimony the, of millions. The, <laughs> the eyewitness testimony. Testimony of Jimmy Petals is not admissible in court. And ladies and gentlemen, I will tell you this. Ladies and gentlemen, right there. One thing only. One thing, one time? One thing and one thing only. I am thoroughly convinced that Peter Pan is the one who taught Bruce Lee Kung Fu. You can't tell me otherwise. It was not Gene LaBelle. It was not Oh So Fresh. This is the Heist Heist Podcast. I'm the host with no name. This is Oh So Fresh, and I'm doing it months late. But if you say my wife is bald, I will slap the shit out of you. And for some reason, I can't talk today, so I'm going to say the phone number very, very slowly. Somehow, I like to I mean, I like to rub her hair for good luck when she's in motion. <laughs> 503-776-0167. I have a little bit of a feta today. I don't know why. I don't know. I was just talking about bald-headed boobs. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> I, maybe it's because I was talking about retarded kids earlier. It's karma, I think. You're not supposed to say retarded. What are you supposed to say? Melancholy? Mentally Mongoloid? disabled? No, you're not supposed to say disabled. You're supposed to say differently able. Differently able? Differently able. Advantageously able? Like I have different abilities than you. And? Are they superhuman abilities? So then like, go hey, fuck yourself. So here's the, Unless here's, you have superpowers, I don't give a shit about your so, abilities. So let's check this out. If, if you're in a wheelchair and both of us in a bus is coming, I have the ability to get the fuck out the way. <laughs> and you have that different ability to stay there and get hit by the bus. I don't know. I don't know. I think they'd roll away faster than you'd run away. Uh, hey. Especially if it was like downhill. I think you get hit first, my friend. You call the Special Olympics the way I get the fuck away out of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a 911 dollar contest. I'd win that motherfucker. Now, first of all, if, if the bus hits you after seeing you in a wheelchair standing in front of it, there's a whole different issue. I think we got a retard driving the bus. There you go again. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Hype Podcast. We have a great show for you today, and we are going to shit on a few people because it's the holidays, and we can. So this is our gift to you. So, like, shitting on people is not, like, some fetish that I'm into. <laughs> but if you do... Unless you pay good money. I mean, if you do want to get shit on, you could definitely uh, get on the Patreon because I will put the Hype Podcast all over your chest. <laughs> <laughs> for dollars and, and cents. It, it, it's the holiday season, and, you know, we... we we're it getting, just gets weirder and weirder. We're getting back together with family. And I'm kind of tripping because, you know, I, it took me back. I was thinking of, because uh, I, I think we're going to spend some time actually with the family this year. Oh, Lord. Like, you know, I'm really going to hang My out. My family or your family? My family. I already booped over there. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> and I get to think it like. He came down the chimney. I get to think it back to my uncle. Okay. Me and my uncle have had. The craziest adventures Cause you know He was the coolest man On fucking earth At one point You know And then we We kind of leveled off Cause I could drink More than you bitch <laughs> <laughs> So so you're telling me That your uncle Used to be differently Able than you He used to be Very differently able Now you're differently Able yeah, than I, him I, I married, I'm more differently able I mean You know I could drink more And get more hosts It's just <laughs> Just the way Sometimes <laughs> Sometimes the student Becomes the master <laughs> I'm thinking about one time, you know, because I'm going out of town. I'm going out of town to see my buddies back in the day, uh, okay. all my Chico buddies. And I'm thinking of one time me and my uncle went out of town. Now, this is for his birthday. Okay. Now, this is, I, his birthday used to be a special, special occasion. So, what we did. <laughs> used to be. <laughs> used to be. Used to be. Used to be. You know, you kind of grow out of it, you know? So, what we did. Cause we're flashing. This is oh, this must be oh eight oh nine. Okay. So we're, we're we're flashing. We rent an Escalade and we go to Tacoma. Jesus. He wants to, he wants to go to this club. He, he has to go to this club. Oh, we got the Escalade. We got the big body bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we got Smashing we got room for seven <laughs> up in this motherfucker. <laughs> it ain't no thing. <laughs> and trunk space. And, and trunk space because you know our, I come with bags and accessories <laughs> <laughs> and baggage. <laughs> and let, and, <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, girl, nothing reaches a G spot like a kung fu grip. Oh, Jesus Christ! 
<laughs> so we go, we go, we go to this club in Tacoma, and it is ratchet. I think it's an Irish <laughs> club, so they call it Mick Ratchet. <laughs> So we're up there. We're, we're, we're up there. We're up there. We're up there. We're chilling. And I, you know, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, brother. Let me tell you something. All you motherfuckers need to know. Some days you just have your fucking day. Like, like a birthday? No, like it's just your, your day. You in the club and it's just your day. Like, it, like, I'm like, picking up, like, I'm picking up like, what you're putting down. Like, like, it, it, it is happening for you. Like, it doesn't really happen. Like, like, you could do anything. You can do yeah, anything I, I, you want. I, you I, can spill I, a drink. I, I could I could do anything. You can and call I, her a bitch I, I, to her face. I, I, I could do anything, and I am guaranteed a piece of ass <laughs> off this motherfucker. <laughs> so what I do, just, you know, it's my uncle's birthday, so I'm feeling super duper smooth. I happen to meet two. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> now, 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 wait a minute. Not, wait not a, two for me. Now, wait I a mean, minute. I happen to meet was two. It, was this one in a tag along, or was this like, hey, you two, get over here? I think it was one in a tag along, because I, you know, I, I, I I'm single focus. Okay. So I have my side okay. on the one. And she had a friend tagging along. And if you're tagging along with me, it is a it is a, your duty to pick up any fucking spares. <laughs> <laughs> you could call it we or Oso oh bowling, because you are picking up a spare, motherfucker. Because that's the way it fucking works. Cause you know, it, it, it things happen a little bit better that way. Yeah. So we had rented a hotel to be up there because you know we weren't driving home because he drinks a fair share and I drink about three quarters of that. Well, so, and back in 2008. Back in 2008. And I I was in school in 2008. In 2008, and, I gave and, no, and I gave no fucks about drinking and driving, but I happened to boy, to be a safe driver that night. No, I'm just saying. I I knew you in 2005, and we got trashed before I left for school. And you had a pretty high alcohol game back then. So I'm only imagining that you powered up into 2008. I was drinking very thoroughly. <laughs> and... <laughs> I was drinking even more because I have, I've already made new friends. <laughs> All those lessons they taught you on Sesame Street about making friends, they do work. <laughs> With libations. Yeah. <laughs> because today it's sponsored by the letter D. <laughs> and not UI. Not D-U-I, just the letter D. And if I'm feeling right, it might be sponsored by the number five, too. <laughs> So, is that's not size. That is the amount of repetitions. <laughs> that's a championship. No, no, no. Let me explain. Repetitions of the act, not the repetitions of stroke. <laughs> I got five on it. So, if, that, if that's the love life you've lived, bitch, hey, hit us up on our Patreon. So, so you're at McRatchets. You pull. Two McRatchets. You, you get two ra- McRatchets to I got go. the two McRatchet deal. And <laughs> I, I, mean, I, I, think, I, I think it was buy one, get one for a dollar. Because I think I bought that bitch a drink too. So you, you're getting ready. You're, you're getting liquored up. And you're hanging out with the uncle. So you know you're drinking heavily. What happens next? So I proceed to leave. I'm going, right. you know, I'm, I'm, you know, there's this point in the night where you are that kind of fucked up. Where you're like, you know what? I need to make it to a fucking destination. 11.59. We talked about this last <laughs> week. Oh, no, no. <laughs> they, ain't no Kool-Aid in my blood, motherfucker. It was, it was like 1.30. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe make it about 1. So I, I'm, I'm proceeding to go out. I'm going to grab something to eat. I'm going to go back to the room. I'm going to chill. I got the girl's number. Okay. And I was like, okay. Well, yeah. And he, he looked at me. And I was like, oh, well, let's go. Because I'm thinking... I'm thinking we made some new friends, but ain't nothing really happening. Okay. You know, we you, you've been there before. Out of town, made some friends, dance, party with the bitch all night, maybe grab her ass a little bit. Then you, you take your ass the fuck home. It's cool. Okay. Yeah. We go back. I go to go I go to leave, and this motherfucker's giving me the peace sign. Now I don't my uncle is older than me, but he ain't no fucking hippie. The peace <laughs> sign means that he got action right here. Okay. That's what the peace sign means. It's like the sock on the doorknob. If you ever get the peace sign, especially behind a motherfucker's back where they can't see you throwing the peace sign, <laughs> that means that I got this solid. That, that these two fingers will be diving into a hole. That's what that means. Actually, but yeah, yeah, as long as you as long as you include the middle, sir. So I'm out. I get back to the spot. I'm feeling all right. I smoke a little. I'm like, all right, okay. She texts me. And I'm like, well, shit, he's gone. She's like, and she told me, oh, well, he's there with my friend. I was like, oh, we'll, we'll come through. Okay. She comes through. So, so he's hooked up. You're hooking up. Yeah, Good to go. I, I don't like to call it hooking up. That sounds so fucking gross to me. I don't know why. <laughs> we used to call it kick it back in the day. I don't like hooking it up. Hook, hook up makes it sound so. I don't. Linking up? 
It, I don't know. I'm fucking. I'm fucking. <laughs> I'm fucking, fucking, fucking. I'm fucking all sorts of fucking, fucking. That's what I'm doing. Don't call it hooking up. Don't make it sound all all cute and casual that you that somebody is hiding your member in you. You know what I'm saying? When some motherfuckers say hook it up, I mean shit. Nah, nah, nah. That make it sound way too easy. He said, no, don't I'm, make it casual, bitch. <laughs> motherfucker, I hook up macaroni and cheese. I hook up shells and cheese with Becky in them. That's what the fuck you hook up when it comes to fucking. Fucking is fucking, my friend. You call. Call it by its name. Coitus? <laughs> intercourse? <laughs> Anything. Well, hook it up. You, I, go, I, I walk into the mini mart and I come back out with a big gulp. I see that bitch hook me up. That's what the, that's what the fuck happens. Not hook it up. That don't even fucking call it that shit. So as we proceed on, I'm sitting there. I'm chilling. And, you know, she's so just, angry. She, she comes by. She she starts. We, oh, we were just having a conversation. And this motherfucker blowing me up. And I'm like, oh, he's drunk. He's just fucking with me. Yeah. Then it just got to be too much. And I pick up the phone and he's like, hey, I need to get in the car. Okay. Because he rented the car, but you are obviously not trustworthy, sir. So <laughs> I mean, you, you don't have the keys to the car. So he comes, he gets the keys. I'm like, cool. All right, you got the keys. And I'm like, get yourself out the car. I, I figured he'd be back in a few minutes. So I continue to have a conversation. And then I'm sitting there probably about 15, 20 minutes later. I call him. I'm like, well, what's going on? He's like, oh, well, I left and I took the keys with me. What? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, what this bitch have a whole bunch of motherfuckers who show up at the joint and want to rob me or something? I can't even get away. <laughs> usually, usually if they catch you, let me tell you, not from experience, if they catch you in a hotel slipping and they want to fuck you up, get into get into your car at the option. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> see enough movies. So you know, I, I excuse my company because I mean, really, I mean, I, I I don't know what your name was, Tamika, or wherever the fuck the fuck. But hey, it was it was good times. You, you got to go do some investigating it's good, it's, at this it's point. It's good times, but you know, I need to clear the room. So I just, I'm drunk. So I just go ahead and I go to sleep. And I wake up in the morning and I'm like, he ain't back. He's in here. He's <laughs> still not back. <laughs> what, what time in the a.m. are you waking up? You, you uh, this, one, this, this must be 9, 10. Okay, a reasonable wake, amount of time. Waking up and, you know, and I, I go to look at my phone. I have a lot of messages, but I'm mostly looking at his. Right. So I look, and he's not there. And then I call him, and he goes, I'm like, what's up? He's like, oh, yeah. Um, I'm like, where you at? He's like, I'm here at the hotel. I'm like, where at the hotel? <laughs> you're like, no, no, no. I'm and here at the hotel. He's like, I'm down at the car. And what do you mean you're down at the car? He's like, oh, yeah, I, I end up sleeping in the car. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Let me, hang on, hang on. Let me get this straight. <laughs> Your uncle drove with you to, for all intents and purposes, a fucking foreign land. Yeah, like, they, I mean, but he he, he chose Mick, Mick, <laughs> Mick Ratchets. He chose Mick Ratchets. <laughs> so for all intents and purposes, he, yeah, we ordered the double cheese. He, he drove to a fucking foreign land, got shit can wasted, took a set of car keys, and fucking got in the car and slept. Got in the car and slept. That's almost as bad of a decision as like Brittany Griner bringing weed to Russia. Well, it, 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 <laughs> the, see, I, I, I got to cap it out with this. There's there's two things. There's two elements to the story because it is up there with that Brittany Griner shit. <laughs> okay. Number one, the text messages I missed out on yeah. were texts from my sister where he was telling what I was doing. What the that, fuck? That evening. <laughs> I I I could I, I, I could not go to I I had I could I have not heard the end of the McRatchet story forever. <laughs> and text number two was to my mother. Oh fucking hell! <laughs> I'll, hey, bet, hey, I'll bet you Brittany it, texted it, it, her it mother took too. Took a long while for him to take me, and I and I would just tell you how to end that out. Have you? If you ever want to be fully fucking cussed out by me, <laughs> if you ever, you know how far it is from Tacoma to Portland? Two hours of being cussed the fuck out because he slept in the car. Now, when it comes to, I don't think it's quite as bad as Brittany Griner. I don't think he deserved nine years in prison. <laughs> In the goulash, in the goulash, <laughs> is that what they call it? No, it's called the gulag. You fucking mook. What's the Jesus. difference between goulash and gulag? Goulag, you in bad shape if you got either. 
<laughs> goulash is a pasta. It's like a casserole. <laughs> she, <laughs> she didn't spend nine years in a casserole. That's although, that, that, although that is very carb heavy, and she would not have fared well. That bitch sound, that sounds bad to me. <laughs> if I'm eating goulash or in the gulag, it is not where I want to be in life. First of all, before we get into this fucking idiot, I'm calling it right now. I'll bet you this bitch never plays basketball again and gets into politics. Just because, just because, people are like, oh, it's a national tragedy. Steph Curry's like, oh, I'm so glad we brought her home. Yeah, shut up and shoot three-pointers, bitch. I, you know what? I need you to throw a parade for every motherfucker that ever got caught with weed. <laughs> for every motherfucker. Every that, single every, one. Every single motherfucker. Hey, tell me you were willing to just, tell me you were willing to trade somebody named Dr. Death for every motherfucker. <laughs> you know little Joe who used to hang out in front of the store who got caught with weed and got some years? Tell me you were willing to trade There's the Dr. Death for. There are still fucking weed traffickers doing 25 to life. Still to this day. I don't give it. Yeah. Okay. Joe Biden. Joe, Joe Biden pardoned them. Why are they still in jail? That's well, he, right, well, Big he, Joe. He pardoned people on a federal level. So state right. to state, you're not getting pardoned. Right. Exactly. Now, in some states, they have pardoned. Because it. of his legislation that he signed with Bill Clinton in the 90s. It's the same fucking shit. It's just smoke and mirrors, fucking theater. There are still people in jail for fucking marijuana. No, 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 let's talk about who the fuck is in jail. Let's talk about the former Marine that's in jail. They were like, <laughs> they're like, they're like, hey, Joe, Joe, take your pick. Yeah. So, you, so you want the, you want the, Are you sure it wasn't Was it like Wheel of Fortune No no They were like Was it roulette they, they, were, they, were, they were like No we want the You want the black bitch That'll be good for you On election day You want that one Do you, do you want the black Cause, millionaire I mean because Because he, we did the press conference With her wife Kamala Harris was there I mean everybody was fucking there Everybody had time for it You know what Nobody can show up For my school recitals But everybody had fucking time Dude there's no way There is no way This whole thing Wasn't a fucking political stunt there's no fucking way. I guarantee you. Russia did it on purpose. They're like, oh, we have a prominent fucking 100,000 air bitch. I don't even think she's a fucking millionaire. Oh, 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 but let me tell you the first thing the bitch did when she got the fucking um, um, Mumbai, Mumbai, <laughs> Dubai, Mumbai. <laughs> when she got the fucking Dubai, somebody said, the first thing she did was dunk a basketball. <laughs> bitch, they. <laughs> really? <laughs> And you know what? I, I really, I really want to say the good, the N word. That's all you're good for, N word. That's all the fuck you're good for is to duck a fucking basketball. Could you imagine working with a six, six foot seven bitch next to you in the fucking office? They can't even make dividers high enough. That bitch be reaching over like a fucking giraffe, asking if you got a pen and a piece of paper. Shit. <laughs> I got, just picking it up with her I, mouth. I got the motherfucking bitch with Toys R Us asking if I got an email. What the fuck? fuck? All she can do is dunk a fucking basketball. Said, I got the Toys R Us bitch asking me what I'm bringing to the holiday potluck. <laughs> no, what really fucking blows me away. Not only is it like. And you get all these fucking celebrities coming out like, oh, oh, it's a travesty what they did to her. Like, she doesn't look malnourished. Bitch looks like she didn't get some vitamin D, but you're in jail, bitch. In jail. You want to fucking talk she about- She cut her hair. <laughs> and? No, they probably cut her hair because it probably stunk. They probably- Her, her fucking bitch-ass dreadlocks probably stunk. Hey, if you wear dreadlocks- <laughs> 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 Make up your own insult. Because yeah. <laughs> I done ran out. I done ran out. You done no. heard. If you wear dreadlocks, you done heard every fucking insult about fucking dreadlocks that would be heard. So just use, re recycle one and use it on you. Hey, hey, you know how bad I feel? They shaved Hopper's hair too. When he went to the gulag and Stranger Things, they fucking shaved his head too. Yeah. I, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm torn apart inside. No, they fucking shave your head because of lice and other shit that gets in your hair because they don't wash you. They don't fucking bathe your body. So they shave your hair off? Yes, they fucking shave your head so you don't get fucking like parasites and shit I, I living still, in your I, goddamn hair. I still hair. thought it was to make the boop more aerodynamic. <laughs> it definitely was. You want to talk about a real fucking tragedy? Yeah, so this is what her wife said. Keep my wife's name out the fucking mouth. <laughs> that's it. We're removing that sound effect from the soundboard. <laughs> that's, that's what Brittany Griner's wife said when she listened to the show. <laughs> Hey, you know what? <laughs> no, you guys want to talk about real tragedy? We're going to talk about what the fuck happened last night at my favorite poker spot in Portland. Or not in Portland. I'm sorry, in Vancouver. God, my, that's, my, that's why I'm thrown off today. My, my, I think my favorite poker spot uh, is probably the Ramada. Fine. But that night with my uncle, my favorite poker spot was the Motel 6. <laughs> fine. 
my favorite Texas Hold'em spot. And no, that's not a fucking homo reference, bitch. Last night in the center, some fucking jack wagon decided to soil the great poker room of the center, Washington, because he lost a poker hand. Like a fucking asshole. I don't understand how poker works. So, like, if I lose a hand, do I do I really get upset? I mean, is it, it depends. Is, is it more personal than losing it to, like, a, a slot machine? Like, because I'm looking at you going, you stole my shit? Well, I've seen people, like, smash. You remember when you were a kid? Remember when you were a kid and, like, yeah. the and like the last level, the, the last boss of the game, yeah. you just couldn't beat him? Yeah. And you end up throwing the remote at the TV? Hey, fuck you, Mike Tyson. <laughs> If, yeah, you, yeah. if you were if you were in that club like me and Mike Tyson was the only motherfucker on that game that could beat your ass, I want you to say amen. Because, man, I whipped everybody. Ball Bull, the Sandman, Glass Joe, fucking Soda Popinski, all them motherfuckers. I whipped all they fucking asses. Oh, Macho Man, too. I whipped all that ass. And I get the fucking Mike Tyson. Four uppercuts. And I'm fucking, my name is Lil Mac. I'm a white boy about three, about three foot tall. See, big old Mike Tyson. See, you're about to throw a fucking console control at the camera okay that, a, I, I, imagine I, I, that. I know your pain I don't know about getting stabbed imagine that but times a thousand okay playing poker you're gambling number one it gives you an adrenaline rush yeah because they were going to come in and, Mike Tyson wasn't going to come steal my Nintendo if <laughs> exactly. I lost <laughs> exactly you got an adrenaline rush going on sometimes you get anxious like you get pissed off when you lose and not only that people who actually play poker so like they know people talk shit like, people will take your money because they got lucky, and they'll talk some shit. And you got to just sit there and kind of take it. And most people, most people are kind of respectful. They'll just sit there quietly. Are you respectful or you talk shit? Uh, it depends. Ladies and gentlemen, this man talks shit. He must, <laughs> no, it, it depends. He's ugly. No, 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 I have no. several friends. Don't, 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 be, don't applaud me. Don't, don't applaud me. Don't be don't embarrassed deserve. by the applause. No. Don't be embarrassed I, by the applause. I have several friends up there. That I that I routinely play with, pause. That I re, <laughs> that I routinely play cards with at the, and, at the table and, or in the bathroom. <laughs> depends on how much yeah. money I lose. <laughs> <laughs> how does so, it sound to receive a boop? Yeah, exactly. how does that sound? So I'm respectful to all my buddies up there. Okay, and they're respectful to me. Yeah, but there's some people where like we make a, an actual game of talking shit. Yeah. Like we have fun, and there's other people that I just don't like. Where I'm just like, I'm here, I'm here to needle you and make you feel like shit and I'm going to feel good doing it. But never in my fucking life have I ever imagined somebody would haul off and start shanking people in the middle of a fucking card room. That is absolutely unbelievable to me. So he's just, let me run back what happened. So the guy's in the card room and he just starts stabbing people? He's at the table. Okay. He loses what what I can only imagine had to have been a fairly big pot. If it's like a 4-8 game and you lost like 30 bucks, man, they need to just fucking shoot you upside the head, dude. I'd imagine he lost a couple hundred bucks. Probably was going on a bad run. Maybe even in the big game, which you can lose a couple thousand, you know, pretty quick. And allegedly... You think he was trying to make enough money to pay his drug dealer because his drug dealer was waiting outside? Uh, you know, uh, weirder hey, things have happened. That's, that's I had a friend rob a bank because he'd had to pay his drug dealer. And the weirdest thing was the drug dealer gave him the gun to rob the bank. Why wouldn't you just shoot your drug dealer? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you need drugs tomorrow. <clears throat> yeah, but I mean, I mean but, you know, but now you have a gun. That's, that's the reason you don't kill your drug dealer because you don't. But now you have a gun. Now you can go get more drugs. I don't know where my drug dealer gets their drugs or I would go get those drugs. But you have a gun. You can go tell people, give me the drugs. You know, you can just find that's, something. That's not how drugs work. Go ahead. <laughs> that's not how drugs work. You said that's not how you drugs work. You don't kill your drug dealer because you don't have anybody else to deal you drugs. So anyway. <laughs> that's like walking up the Safeway and blowing it up. Like, yeah, I'll grow my own. No, it's not how it fucking works. I'm going to grow my own Safeway. Your, your drug dealer is like the fucking mini market. Yes, I need, you don't rob your own fucking mini market. Because when you need some Pringles, when you need some Pringles and some fucking Michelob Ultra, motherfucker, I don't stock those. I don't know where to get those. No, no. Now I'm going to start robbing people because they gave me a gun to go rob all the people who have McLove and, and So and allegedly, he's okay. sitting at the card table. He loses a pretty big hand. And he started getting loud while well, somebody, like, responded to his shit talking. Oh, really? And there was an altercation. And apparently, I've heard two different stories. There's some buildup. Yeah. I've heard two different stories, but the story I'm going with is a person who was actually there. And... Apparently there was 
some physical altercation. And then once people started stepping in to like restrain both parties, then the guy pulled out a knife and started just swinging it wildly and stabbing people. Oh yeah. So, so what, what, what do you think this man's motives were? I mean, it's, 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 it's one thing I will, I will give you all the due respect in the world. If it's just your thing to, you want to get a motherfucker that got you. I understand. But when, when I start swinging a knife wildly, like, where, where am I going with this? I, you know, honestly, just from, from experience of, like, the anxiety of the holidays and shit like that and being broke. Like, I've been broke and still been at the card table because I thought, oh, I'm going to make some money. Motherfucker, you, if you ever take it upon yourself <laughs> to swing a knife wildly, like, because, you know, I got your back. If you just had to stab that motherfucker over there, I'm cool. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool with me. But you just swing the knife wildly? Like, what's going on? That's how you get shot. Well, exactly. And so, I, I think it was just a buildup. I think, he, you know, he had just freaked out a little bit. And you never know, you never so know I'm, somebody's I'm mental state. I'm cutting everybody. You never know somebody's mental spa- state, especially when it comes to money. And like you said, and like drugs. Maybe he was on drugs. I I'm, don't know. I'm up here filleting motherfuckers like fish just cuz. But, and, and here, here's some People more died, didn't they? No, no, nobody, nobody died. Nobody died? No, four people went to the hospital, and they're all okay. No, the injuries weren't life-threatening, thank God. So, But but some people were not going to be the same. Well, the whole the whole community is not going to be the same. and Because a lot of us, we all know each other. We're all cool. You know, at the end of the day, we're all cool. Like, we don't want anybody to Were you cool with that guy? Die. I don't know. I don't know. I, you, you, for, you, I, know, I know the name, but I, if I saw, if it is who I think it is, that guy, he was like, he was always cool, like always kind of a quiet guy. <laughs> he was, real, I mean, you real cool till you start stabbing people. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Everybody's real cool. But hey, you know what? You want to get off my real cool list? Show up and start stabbing us. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. donate on Patreon so we can be in the hospital hey, hey, yeah, yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, please, please donate on Patreon. So, oh, we got new content up tonight. Yes, we got new content <laughs> up tonight. On let, me, let me finish my story and then you can tell them about you the got, new content. You got, you got two minutes. So, this motherfucker takes off. Makes it to the freeway and does 120 from the center Washington down to Padden Parkway. Cops chasing him the whole way. They fucking catch him on Padden Parkway. Arrest his ass. Guess what he got charged with? What? Assault. That's it. It's a knife, yeah. What do you mean? No, that's called attempted manslaughter, motherfucker. Like, you no, were trying to kill motherfuckers. How do you know it's attempted to kill? I'm, I'm it's wild, on camera. I'm wildly swinging a knife. <laughs> I am wildly swinging a knife. What do you mean? I mean... <laughs> you should be a goddamn lawyer, oh, so fresh. We gotta get the fuck out of here before they start admitting admit this in court. Jesus Christ. He said, I'm swinging a knife wildly like Rambo. I didn't do shit. I didn't mean to hurt I nobody. I was just clearing my way to get out the door. Trying to make some fucking sushi in the middle of a car room, you dumb son of a bitch. Like Sean Kim got a whole bunch of babies, same <laughs> shit. He, he was just swinging his wildly. It's time to go. You can hit us up 503-776-0167. Uh, if you were in the room that night, tell us what really happened. If you're listening to the show. Oh, you're, all your buddies listen to the show. A bunch of my buddies listen to the show. You're all the only, three of you're them. the only people that listen to the show. All three of them. But yeah, so I hope everybody is well up in the center. We'll, uh, we'll be up to see you soon. Donate some money to you and uh, have some fun. Hopefully, hopefully this motherfucker gets fucked by his own mother with a sandpaper dildo. That's all I got to say about you, Scott. You son of a bitch. Yeah, I said it. I called him out by name. He's going to come get us now. We're getting wild. Wow. We're getting filleted like a fish right here on the Hype Podcast. I'd like to let you know, for the podcast after the podcast, when I will start wildly swinging a knife, there's a crab shortage right now. So if we happen to be at Red Lobster during crab month, and they're doing the unlimited crab, and they happen to run out, and you happen to have the last piece, I might come over to your sw- your table and swing my nutcrackers or whatever, crab crackers. Crab, I'm doing it like fucking Ginsu and Kung Fu. I'll have the, the crab crackers in one hand and a fucking knife in another, and I will swing wildly, because a little piece of Dungeness Crab goes a long way. It's the Hype Podcast. Fuck it. We'll do it live. <laughs>